Hi everyone. Um, I'm going to make a birthday dinner for Hanka tonight. And um, actually I'm going to make it right now. And I'm going to make um, the chicken crotch. That's what we call it here. It's really called Emeril Lagasse's Chicken Cacciatore, but I've been using this recipe forever. I found it online many years ago, and I've, it's the only one I've, I've used because um, we like it. So I'm going to get my apron on, and then we're going to start. And first thing we're going to do, and by the way, the cards are still coming. Today I haven't got the mail yet, so it's not here, so I don't know how many, but I think we were up to 87 cards. Um, and a package also. And so, so far, a surprise, he doesn't know about it. Okay, so what we're gonna do with this chicken um, crotch is Emerald, um, you can go online and print this recipe out. And um, you can see mine's pretty disgusting because I have used it a lot. But you can go on there and then he gives, um, for the spices, he gives a recipe for his Creole seasoning. And so what I'm gonna do right now is make up a little bit of that um, and then I just keep it stored. Let me push you back and see if you can see me doing it. Okay, maybe that's better. I hope I'm not too far and the birthday banner's in my way. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is, first of all, um, two and a half tablespoons of paprika. Okay, so I, I had some old one. Ooh. Oh, here we go. So. I had some of this, but it, you know, if you don't use it, it loses its potency, so you have to remake it again. Let me grab a knife. So it'll, you know, it'll get not as um, spicy, and it is pretty spicy. So when you, when you make a new one, make sure that you um, are careful with how much you use because it, it will get hot. So this is gonna be two and a half teaspoons of this. And I'm gonna see how much I have in here. Probably don't even have two but I have another bottle. There's one. One and a half. Let me grab another bottle, I have to open it. And this, this other one that I have is a smoky paprika, but I don't, it doesn't bother me. I mix them. <clears throat> I don't think it really matters. Maybe just give it a smoky taste, which I think paprika kind of has anyway. So I'm gonna give it one more. I mean, look at this is real fresh and this is really red or the other that I used was a little bit brown because it's not, it was the end of that bottle. Okay, so we have the paprika in there. Oh. Okay, now next we're gonna add um, two tablespoons of salt. I'm gonna use sea salt. I don't know that it matters again what salt you use, but I love, I've been loving the sea salt and I use it all the time. And I get this one at Trader Joe's, the fine crystals. So two tablespoons of that, because remember this is, this will go a long way, this spice. You can keep it, you know, in your cabinet. Because we're just gonna use a little bit of it to, to spice up your chicken before you, uh, while you're cooking it. Okay, so two tablespoons of salt, then two tablespoons of garlic powder. Okay, so I have my garlic powder and we're gonna use two tablespoons again. Alrighty. Okay, there's one, and I'm just kind of, you know, half-ass measuring it, but. Okay, ooh, that is some strong stuff. Uh, one tablespoon of black pepper. Got my black pepper here, and I don't know about you guys, but I hate trying to open up these containers anymore. I just can't do it. Okay, one, oh, one tablespoon of black pepper, and don't get it up your nostrils. One, one tablespoon of onion powder. Let me go grab the onion powder because I didn't bring that out. So let me get that out of my cabinet. I saw it over there. I was going to get it, but I didn't. Okay, because I use a lot of onion powder or onion salt because I hate onions, but I do put them in this recipe in kind of big chunks because I know the hunk of man likes it. So one tablespoon of, of onion powder. I'm not gonna take that thing off of there, but if it's a little bit more than it says, you know, it's fine. It's just a seasoning. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. One tablespoon of onion powder. Oh, cayenne pepper. Let's find that. Oops, that's not it. Okay, cayenne pepper. This is probably an old bottle I've had for a long time. So I think instead of using one 
tablespoon of it. I'm gonna put two in here just because it's, I'm sure lost its, pot its potency. Whew. Not in the smell department, it hasn't. Okay, so I don't know how long I can do this video, but I'm gonna do the cooking and everything on this. So hopefully they won't, it won't kick me off. I'm not, in, I don't know how long I can go. Okay, I'm gonna do one and a half tablespoons of that. Dried leaf oregano. There's a lot of spices in this. That's why this will make a big container of it and will go quite, oh, quite a ways. Uh, one tablespoon. I'm telling you, these lids just piss me off. Mm. Oh. I need to hire a lid opener. Oh. <laughs> okay, one teaspoon, tablespoon of dried oregano. In you go. Dried, uh-oh, did I, okay, dried thyme. Again, one tablespoon. Okay, and that's all of our ingredients there. I'm gonna grab my little, uh, grab a spoon and just give it a little toss. Oh, I don't know if you can see my bowl. You guys probably can't even see. Shoot. Oh, let me back it up again. I hope this doesn't fall off my counter. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss this all around. Look at it. Can you see? Mm. It's really good. And you can buy his spice, I think, already in a bottle, but I, I like to make my own. I feel like it's fresher if you make your own. I'm gonna sneeze now. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so see that? Doesn't that look good? And this is what we'll sprinkle on and use for our um, chicken and then we can save the rest. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is, I have, it says chicken thighs and drumsticks, wings. I only do thighs. So let me get those. And I'm gonna turn you around over here so you can see me on this other side now. Hopefully you can see me. You know, my cameraman is at work today. Okay, yeah, I don't like that either. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Let me see here. How can I get you to see my food? Oh, yeah. there we go. I don't know if you can see me or not, but. Okay. Hi. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is um, I buy the thighs with the bone in because we've had them both ways. And we just feel that the bone in, when you take it out, the meat is so much tender, more tender than it is if you um, buy them already um, deboned. I don't like the way it's chopping my head off. Hold on. Ooh, that's not gonna help. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry, you can't see me. But, so what I'm gonna do is, this is, I, like I said, I kinda do everything half-assed. But I'm gonna take these, um, let me wash my hands real fast. Oh, these allergies are killing me, you guys. I itch, itch, itch. I have like, look at this. I got itches everywhere, all over my body, little speckles like I have chicken pox. I don't know what it is. Okay, so we're gonna take the, this skin off. I'd like to keep it on, but you gotta take the skin off. Oh, and I did join Weight Watchers today too, by the way. It was kind of weird because I went in there to join and they're like, oh, oh, well, you don't, you don't, you're not already a member? And I was like, no, that's why I'm here to join. And she goes, oh, well, that's a problem because we were told explicitly not to sign people up in here and not to help them do that. And I was like, well, then I guess I have to leave if you can't help me. And she goes, well, how did you even get to sign up for this meeting to come here? And I said, online? She goes, but you don't, you're not a member. I said, I know that, but it let me sign up, so I'm here. So finally, after a while, they, you know, I guess, I don't know what, they signed me up. It wasn't for the special I wanted, but I'm like, what the hell? I just did it for three months and we'll see, because I think, I think in three months I'll have, I'll lose the weight I want to lose and then I'll be done. <clears throat> so 
and I did start today eating, you know, the right way. So we'll see. So what I do is I just take this, you know, underneath here and I pull the, can you see this? And then I just kind of take the, my knife and scrape the, the meat that way off the bone. And it really helps to get it off there. And then I put my knife underneath the bone. You see that? And then I just cut like this and get it off. I mean, it's not a clean break. There's still some little bit of meat on it, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, so there's one that's the bones off of, and there's a little bit of fat left on it, um, skin, but I don't worry about that. I'm gonna leave that on there. Okay, and then that's gonna kind of go over here by my chicken, uh, I mean, my flour area. So let me do more. I'm gonna make five of these because um, the big guy reheats this and eats it. You know, he's a big leftover person. I am not, I will not eat this again. I just don't, I don't like leftovers. So, okay, again, I'm gonna take this bone out. And I can, I mean, this goes pretty fast, so I don't mind doing it. And I know, just because too, I know it tastes so much better. Okay, so that and that, and then I'm just gonna give this a little scrape and get some of that meat down there off of it. Come under there again. And then I turn it and work my knife away. I mean, around here. Mm. Okay. Ooh, I might, this knife is so bad, but it's my favorite. I've had it forever. And I don't even think it can be sharpened anymore, but I love it. So if there's a little bit of meat left on here, I just take my scissors and snip it off. Why not? It doesn't have to be a big giant thigh. It can be little pieces too. So then I just cut that off. And these are some big chicken thighs. I just got them today at the store. Oh, okay, hold on here. Ooh. Okay. And so what we're gonna do after this is we're gonna season them with flour and with our um, emerald spice that I made. And I swear I'm gonna sneeze again. <coughs> I'm so sorry. All oh, those powders went up my nose. I can't sneeze on it because then you guys have to hunk us. Sneezed on his food. That's the bad part about videotaping. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that anyway. Okay, three. I hope you'll try this recipe. It's a little bit of work, but it's so worth it. And I guess it really does taste better the second day because everything kind of sits and mingles together in the fridge but this is his all-time favorite meal and um he always wants this but it's so much work i don't make it a lot i did make this for carol um, when i went to see her and i think they really liked it i hope because i took all my favorite recipes and cooked stuff for them Okay, there's that. Ow! Oh. Okay, one more. Hope you're not getting bored watching me do chicken for 13 minutes, but it's part of the recipe and I wanted to do a, a little video tutorial for you and show you how I do it. And I'm just, you know, I'm real easy about what what you put in it uh, measurement wise. Um, I don't measure exact. It's probably why I'm not a good baker. Cause I'm really um, kind of like, I just go fast and I don't measure properly. So therefore I'm not a good baker. Okay, so we got all that done. Let's get this over here out of the way and wash my hands again. Get that off. my hands and then I touch my hair, but that's just a habit I do. Okay, so um, <clears throat> let me, I wish you could see me. Okay, so the next step is going to be, um, you season the chicken parts with the, uh, the um, our little stuff here, 
our seasonings. So we're gonna season them and we're gonna also roll them in this flour. But before we do that, I'm gonna put this oil, um, olive oil. Um, I'm using just pure olive oil. Again, oil, olive oil is a thing too that I just kind of buy. I don't pay attention to, you know, pure aged, whatever it's, I don't know. I just really buy the cheapest kind that they have. And so he says to put a fourth of a cup of oil in here. Um, I find sometimes you need more than that. And I know I'm not going to use that. This is what I'm going to do, because I'm just going to pour it. This is a new one too. Okay, so I, if you can see here, I'm just going to pour it and I'm going to coat the bottom of my pan because I have five chicken thighs that I'm cooking and it's going to take a little bit of oil. And then you're also going to saute the vegetables. So that's how much has gone out of the bottle. It could be, I don't know, maybe a third of a cup. I'm not sure. I'm going to turn this on. Oh, oh my hand just came off in my hand. Nice. Holy moly. Oh my God. Hold on. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hold on. Woo! Got that fixed. That would be bad. Okay, I'm going to get my, my little out. And I'm going to, see, I kind of got a lot of chicken here in my flour, which I shouldn't have done. So I'm going to go around here and grab a little bit more flour on this plate because that is a lot of chicken okay so what I'm gonna do is he says season um, that first so I'll put a little bit of this seasoning on here just so that I don't um, you know touch it with my hands and then contaminate it okay. so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up one of these chicken thighs and then I'm going to just put this on here and I mean I, I'm putting a lot but I'm not can you see how much I put on there because it is going to be hot and you're going to put more of this on so I do both sides and then we're going to lay it in flour and we're covering it with flour okay and then as soon as this oil gets hot we will start dropping them in so here's another one and I'm just gonna give it a little, I mean, this is probably gonna be pretty hot tonight since I made, again, see how much? Okay, and then in the flour. And you don't put this in any um, like egg wash or anything before that. I just do it straight from, you know, the chicken. Whew, this one's kind of gone a lot because I dropped it from the others, but, okay. Okay, and then I thought too, if I did this little video, you guys can always go back if it's on my channel and look at it, I'm thinking. I don't do YouTube anymore because I don't, it's a pain to upload to YouTube. You know, you gotta wait forever for it to do. And I, with with the um, IG channels, you just do it and it it's there. It's pretty fast, which I like. So even though I have a YouTube channel, I don't, I probably won't use it anymore, I, I don't think. And especially if this can go on um, more more time. I'm, God, I hope this doesn't get cut off when I load it. Okay, so we got all that. I'm gonna put this flour away. And here's this. And I just kind of fling my fingers in there and if my oil is kind of sizzling, I think it's ready. So, oh, I made a mess. So we also need some um, red pepper flakes so there's more heat that you're putting into it. Okay, yeah, that's pretty hot oil. Okay, so we need red pepper flakes too because what we'll do is we're gonna also season it with them and our vegetables too. So we're gonna put the onions, oh wait, okay, so hold on. Season the chicken parts do dredge them in the flour, and in the oven, you add the oil, and the oil's hot, you add the chicken, okay? So I, so I wouldn't have to read this, but I, I want you guys to know what I'm doing, and I don't wanna do it out of step, so. And, and when we do these, 
I'm really gonna cook them about two minutes on each side because you just wanna sear in that flavor. You don't, and they're gonna cook more once the whole thing is um, in the pot. So really we're just looking for kind of a, a, a coating on the, each side. So I can get three of them in here. Probably just squeeze the fourth, but I won't. Okay. So when those are done, I'm gonna pull them out and put them on this plate and then just set them aside. So, so we have two minutes on each side. Um, I got mushrooms here that I'm gonna put in there. I have an onion that I'm gonna cut up and I actually will maybe do that right now to save a little time. And I'll show you how I do my onions because again, I hate onions. And also, you gotta be careful with onions with a dog because they'll, they'll kill your dog. It's toxic for dogs. I don't know about cats, maybe, but I do know for dogs. And so I'm really careful that I don't drop any of this um, oh, out on the floor. But they don't come in here much, but you know, if they would, it'd be my love to eat on me. Maybe heading right back to the bed. Hospital and... Okay. Ooh, that's cool. Oh my god. Okay, nice. So I got my onion over here. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you. I don't even use I'm gonna see if this is good I think it is. Oh yeah, look at that. I wish you could see it. I don't know. And then that little piece that I did, I can squeeze that in. And that's it for our chicken. Okay, so can you see this? Let me, uh, let me see if I can show you better without burning the crap out of myself or dropping my phone in some hot sizzling oil. See? Oh, it smells so good in there. Mm. You're gonna be a happy man. Okay. Okay, you still can't see me, but. Okay, for two more minutes there, I've got my onions. And what I do, because I don't like onions, and I know you're just gonna laugh, but I'm afraid if I get a little tiny piece like this, I will throw up. So I don't use that. And he hung us just used to me because that's what I do. So, and you're supposed to chop it up so you can cook it in with all these bits and pieces, but no, it's not happening. So I just do this, take them all apart, and then I'll put them in and smush them around and they'll be just fine. But I cannot take the chance of eating an onion. And if you know me, know me, you know, I've been like that forever. I just cannot. I don't do onion rings. But I, I'll eat the crust on them. But as far as the onion ring, I will not eat that, no. Okay. So, I think we can take these out and set them over here, but look how pretty. Isn't that pretty? And they're still not done inside, so, you know, they definitely need more cooking, but that coating is gonna seal in all the juices um, in the middle of the chicken for us. And then I have all this extra the oil that's still here, but I'm gonna use that to, to do my um, onions and my mushrooms and smush those around. And, um, yeah, we're getting there. Take this one out. Got that little piece in there. And you could dump a little bit of this oil if, it, if you think it's too much, which I might. This is like hot crap. Hey, there's our five pieces and our little baby piece that we have. Actually, I don't know that I'm gonna take this oil out. I don't know. No, I'm gonna leave it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is my onion chunks are going in. They're all going in because they're gonna cook. Um, a little bit. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. All right. Well, that, that'll fall apart in there. And if they don't all come apart, they will once they're in there sizzling. And you let them cook. You add the onions. And you want to add some red pepper flakes now at this time. Be careful with those, but red pepper flakes. Make sure that's down a little bit. Woo! And then it says add salt and pepper. I have the other one, salt and pepper, so I'm not going to do that again. 
Okay. See, now it's getting... Alright, look at that. It does smell good, I will say that. I love the smell of them cooking. But that's where it stops. Yeah. I mean, after see if you had it all crunched up for you and your mother, you would probably love this, but not I. Okay, so we're doing this. Gotta leave that in for two minutes. Um, actually, I'm gonna go to another mushrooms in now. And we love mushrooms in our anything. So um, it says to add two cups of, um, this is sliced shiitake and uh, mushrooms. I just, I got the regular old mushrooms. I don't get shiitake, I never have. But, um, and I don't know, this may be about two cups, but that's going in. And this does make a lot, so you'll have leftovers, unless you have a big family, then you might not, but. So this is gonna all cook around in here. And again, it smells so good. Oh, see, my oil's all soaked up already, which is wonderful. All soaked. So we're gonna do our video tonight. Um, when Hunter gets home from work and gets settled, um, we'll, I'll videotape him and I'm going to give, I still have to wrap those cards too in the box. Um, I'm just going to wrap them, I think, in a big box with a bow and, well, I don't know about the bow, with a big box and then we'll, I'll make him try to guess what is in the box and then he'll get mad because we agreed not to get each other anything. So he'll think I got him something and he'll be mad. Probably not really mad, but you know, he'll act mad because we, we did agree to that because we don't really need anything. And so why buy, you know, you get what you want when you get to be 75. <laughs> you pretty much have it all already. And same with me, I whatever I want I get, so no gifts. We do the same thing at Christmas. We are like, no, no gifts. We used to spend so much money at Christmas and we would sit around the Christmas tree, just the two of us, and have wine and appetizers and open presents and we have pile of gifts. But it was all just, you know, little stuff we both thought to buy each other. And most of it we didn't use. So it was kind of a waste of money. So we don't do that anymore. Okay, so that's in. Now, now we're gonna, um, this is sauteed. So we need some wine. Oh, whoa, I need vegetable stock too. Hang on. I need chicken stock. Hold on here. Let me go get it. I thought I had everything out. chicken stock here and um, it says that we're going to add um, the wine tomatoes okay so we need wine oh, 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 oh. is it too early <laughs> it's only one o'clock but you know gotta taste it if you're gonna cook with it right okay here goes a cup of chicken stock but I think we need the wine to cut that all off the bottom Okay, so here goes a cup of chicken stock on top of this. Like that. I'm going to turn this way, way down. Okay, we need, um, we're going to use tomato sauce and tomatoes. And since I know after it gets going and I want a little bit more juice, I add another one of these um, because I just want more. And then I also rinse my can like this with water and then get all the little bits out and it's just fine. Okay, and then I'm gonna use this can of San Marzano um, peeled tomatoes. You know, I always saw these on the Food Network and they always talked about them and I was like, oh, just another, you know, whatever, it's just another brand. But I tried them and I'm telling you, they're good. They're really delicious tomatoes. And then like this can might cost $3 or something but it's worth it, it is a big can. So, matter of fact, this is one of those cans I think would be cute to save and put a plant in, don't you? Not that I've ripped it up, but I might do that. Okay, so we've got all of this in here and it's bubbling. We're gonna add a little bit more pepper flakes, just a little. And then we're gonna add, um, oh, you know what I forgot to add though? is my garlic. So what I'm gonna do is this, I just, I just give it a little squishy of garlic. It doesn't matter. I mean, unless you don't like garlic. It says two tablespoons of chopped. So that's probably what I put in, was two tablespoons. And um, this is gonna go, so let me open the wine. I don't 
don't know if you can, I think you can see it. I think you can see it. Okay, so I'm gonna open a bottle of wine and hope that the cork doesn't fall inside when I do it. Let me find my cork screw first. Oh, here it is. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Oh, I just gotta take this off first. And sometimes, and I do use, um, we drink Trader Joe's wine because it's cheap and it's good. And in California, it was called Two Buck Chuck because it was $2 a bottle. But here in St. Louis, it's $3 a bottle. So it's all right. Let me get this off of here. I really hate opening a bottle of wine. I prefer to just drink it, not open it. Oh. Okay, guys. fancy wine openers that just pop it in and out and you know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's try this. Oh, there it goes. Almost got it on fire. Okay, so now I'm going to try this. Fingers crossed that it works because there's none open that I could just stick from the fridge. Alrighty, it's going in there. You know you need one of those that you just go boop boop and it comes right off. I think I need to invest in one of those. What do you think? Okay, I'm gonna try to pull it, but then... Oh, I did it. Okay. Okay, so we need... Oh. I think we need a cup of... It says dry white wine. I don't know, this is Chardonnay. I guess it's dry, but you, I would use any kind you like. If you like red, put red in there. They say that you should use something that you would drink. So if you drink red wine and you like it, I think it would just make the sauce a little richer if you did, which is good, right? Okay, so now we're gonna add some fresh thyme. <laughs> I always use fresh thyme. I use the thyme, uh, the dried when I make my sauce, you know, I mean my little spice thing, but I, I like fresh. And I use it in my chicken and dumplings, chicken noodle soup, um, everything. And I don't even bother taking it off the, the stuff because it'll fall off. And I put quite a bit in there. I don't, it may, I don't think you have to worry about it. And then this says to chiffonade the basil. And again, this is fresh basil. Now I, <laughs> I used to do this <coughs> back in the day when I first started making this because um, that's what Emil said to do. You know when he had a TV show? I used to watch it religiously. And this is actually when I saw him do it, it was that many years ago. And I didn't know what chiffonade meant, but, <coughs> sorry. Ooh. <coughs> I'm sorry. So all you do is you roll it up and then you could, you know, cut it with a knife, but I just do this. Snip it. <coughs> I'm sorry. Stuff is getting me. And never how many you want. Um, it says to use uh, a tablespoon of it, but I love the taste of, of this. I love it. And it's just not the same if I don't do it and use fresh. Okay, so let's get this boiling again, and then we're ready to put our chicken in it, and it will be sitting. I guess I could move that out of the way so you can see now that I'm almost done. Okay, so this is that rich sauce. It's awesome. It smells awesome. He's gonna be so surprised in more ways than one. Oh yeah, bay leaf. I pop in a few of those too. And it might say two, if it says two, I use four. Love bay leaf. And I always use more than they say in it and it's delicious. So that's that. Let me just pick up a few things before I go to um, put my chicken in. Okay, so it's coming to a boil, and the sauce is just, it's so pretty. It's beautiful, I know you can see it. So now what I'm gonna do is just put my chicken pieces back in, and they're gonna continue to cook. And I'll cook it on low, and I mean, I can cook this on low for a few hours, 
and just keep checking on it. And the longer you cook it, the better it is. And the, the more tender this chicken is gonna be. So this is a big, a big meal. Okay, and that's about it. I hope you like this. And um, I do wanna do a recipe of some more of these with some of the things I cook. So if you like it, I'll do it. If you don't like it, I won't. But um, that's about it. And thank you for joining me in the kitchen. And um, I'll be back tonight with the birthday cards and the birthday boy. Okay, let me find my, oh, let me find my little remote. Okay, we're gonna try this. Okay, bye.